Howdy, folks. Welcome back. So uh, for those of you who weren't uh, tracking, um, spring break for my kiddos was last week. And um, uh, we live here in the uh, San Antonio area. Um, and being a veteran, I took advantage of uh, JBSA, Joint Base San Antonio's uh, Canyon Lake Recreation Area. And uh, went up there with the uh, family um for for a week had five days out there we rented out one of the one of the little loft cabins and uh it was great got out into the woods was hanging out in in nature um for those of you who follow me on facebook you probably saw some of the images of uh that i was catching with my phone of the deer um I'm still working my way through the images that I uh, took with my uh, Sony camera. So uh, those, those I think, are, some of those are going to turn out to be really fantastic because I got to use my, my big monster zoom uh, and, and really get in there and get some, get some cool shots, I think. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Uh, but yeah, you know how it is. Um, I know I got some decent looking shots, but until I get a chance to actually get them up on the monitor, on the computer, and play with the editing a little bit, it, it is going to take a bit. Uh, and I also got to do a kind of a cool uh, video uh, where I shot a fifteen. I shot for fifteen seconds on slow mo with my phone of the fire burning while we were cooking our dinner, uh, and that ended up being like a minute and a half long but it was slowed down so i was like wow okay glad i didn't sit there and film this for a whole long time but uh yeah we got to go out there and cook on a campfire we got to do that kind of stuff and spend time together reconnecting and doing stuff and a lot of it for me was just being unplugged i'll be honest with you a lot of it was just a matter of being unplugged for me um doing the uh, live streams that I've been doing, uh, doing some of my other marketing and customer education work and a lot of that. I'm, I'm on, I'm online a lot. Um, and uh, I'm not saying that it's not worth it. I'm just saying <laughs> I did not realize how much I was constantly involved in things online with uh, social media um, and doing the lives and that kind of stuff. I did not realize how much I was plugged in doing that stuff until I got out there and I was completely unplugged. Well, not completely, but you know, it wasn't my focus the time we were out there. My focus was relaxing. My focus was, um, de-stressing and doing that kind of decompression and stuff. Now it, it made me think, you know, um, how important it is to get that time off and how important it is for us to take that time to decompress and to get out there. And, and, you know, I'm not saying you gotta go sit out in the woods because, you know, basically I had a really nice, uh, chair from Cavella's and uh, that we got at Bass Pro Shop. And I sat in that chair and read, um, a good chunk of it. And then the other time of spending time with the family and doing stuff and doing some of my photography and that kind of thing. But a lot of what I did was I just sat down and I read. I think I read like three books during the five days we were out there. Um, and it was awesome. And, uh, you know, getting to cook on a campfire and that kind of stuff. That was, that was awesome. Um, teaching, teaching my, my cub scouts how to do, do that kind of thing. And, be safe around fire and how to build a fire, you know, and that kind of, it was, it was, it was a great experience. Um, my wife also surprised us, uh, by flying in my oldest from Georgia and we hadn't seen her in two years, give or take, uh, because of COVID and everything. She, we, she wasn't traveling back and forth from Georgia because you know, normally she's flying in and out. And that just was not something we felt comfortable doing with COVID and everything that was going on. So 
I hadn't seen her since she was 16 and now she's 18. You know, and sometimes it's kind of hard to reconcile that, that mental image I have of the little girl who would ride on my shoulders, throwing food to the ducks because she didn't want to be down on the ground because the ducks chased her too much. <laughs> you know, the geese were as tall as she, she was, you know, this was like back when she was three, you know, I have these memories, these very, very vivid memories of when she was three and some of the different things in the four and five, you know, I have these memories of her as she's growing up. And, and now I look at this, 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 this vibrant young woman in front of me. And it's sometimes it's really hard to reconcile that, but getting to spend the time with her, having her be able to spend the time with her sisters, it was amazing. And, you know, I know everybody's circumstances are different. Um, you know, honestly, if we hadn't gone to the JBSA rec area, I don't, I don't think it would have been as, as affordable as it was, you know, it's one of those benefits of being a veteran or if you're active duty military, you know, um, you know, the MWR stuff is, is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, but it was, it was, it was great for my wife too. Cause you know, she had the time off from, from working at the hospital. Um, you know, we got out there and roughed it a little bit, you know, cooking over the fire and everything. I, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and it was just, it was just a great, it was just, it was just a great week. It really was. And part of it was part of, part of what was funny is, it was over too soon in some ways. And in some other ways, it wasn't over fast enough. <laughs> I don't know how many other people ever feel that way when they're, when they're out there doing, doing their vacations and stuff. And they're like, yeah, this is about how long a vacation should last because I, I'm done with, with this. I want to go, I want to go home. I want to be in my own room. I want to be in my own bed. I want to have my stuff around me. Uh, but we, we need that time off. We need to do these kind of things, you know, and, and that's one of the reasons I'm kind of working hard with, uh, with, with the with this uh, promotion opportunity I have, where I can uh, uh, earn a trip to um, Tulum, Mexico. Um, now I've never been into Mexico any further than the border cities, and uh, you know Tijuana and um, was it Matamoros? No, dang, it's gonna bug me now until I can think of it. Reynosa, that's what it was, Reynosa. We used to try, travel, travel down there from uh, Corpus. We'd go down to Reynosa. One of the things we loved to do, being people that were in the theater and in the uh, Society for Creative Anachronism, you're, you're making costumes. You're making clothing all the time for these things. And let's face it, decent material that is going to last and is going to look good ain't cheap, you know? So we would travel down to Reynosa and buy big, just large amounts of fabric, you know, and and we're getting stuff that, that, you know, it was, it was, it was cost effective to make a road trip a day out of it, you know, starting early in the morning, eating and, you know, doing everything on the road and then coming back and getting back late at night. It was worth it uh, in how much money we saved in the, um, in buying the fabric. The other awesome thing was, is, you know, here you are with some of your friends and you're on a road trip. So, it was, it was really great. And then, of course, you know, I had time when I was in San Diego for different things, especially when I was there for the Comic-Con. And then, you know, getting to take the take the trips down to down to Tijuana. Um, i trying to remember. There was one time we were there with the family. And this was when we were kids. So um, my youngest brother, Keith, I want to say he was probably like seven or eight at the time. Uh, but we had gone down, you know. Uh, in Mexico and doing stuff. And he found this flower pot that he wanted, this little flower pot, right? So we're coming back through in the border checkpoint and everything, right? And, uh, you know, you got to remember, this was like in the early, mid 80s, somewhere in there. And um, we're coming back through and the, and the border guard goes, hey, what do you got in the bag there? And he goes, oh, I just got a little pot. And then, of course, everybody around is like, what? You know, because this little kid's sitting there going, I got pot. And um, so, oh, can I see? The guard asks. So he looks in the bag. Oh, that is a really nice little pot that you got there. And, uh, you know, it was it was a great, funny moment for, for a lot of people that were there at the checkpoint. And I'm sure the guard had, you know, it was like, oh, really? 
you know, and this is one of those things where, you know, it's just a great memory and yeah, damn it. I miss my brother. You know, for those of you who aren't tracking, uh, my youngest brother died in 2019. I want to say it was so. Yeah. And I miss him. And there are times I just want to yell at him. And there are times when I just wish I could call him and talk to him. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, getting that time with the family, getting those little vacations, you're building memories. And the fact that I can think back to these times when I was a kid with my parents, when we did road trips, when we did, you know, going to see Yosemite, going to see Yellowstone and the, and, and, uh, Mount Rushmore and some of these things that I remember because, you know, my dad was in the Navy. We traveled around moving and we did road trips when we were doing this. That, that was part of our family vacation that we did because we got to stop and see the things on the way, you know, the Grand Canyon and some of these things that uh, a lot of people haven't seen. I've got to see a lot of these things. And these are memories that I carry with me. And that's another reason that it's important to take the time off and spend with your family, especially with your kids when they're young, because these are going to be memories that they will carry long after you're gone. My brother's, my youngest brother's gone. My, my mom has gone. My dad is gone, but I have these memories. I have this time that we spent when I was a kid um, that I still, I mean, it's still, I still get emotional thinking about them not being here anymore, but I have these awesome memories and experiences that we had together that carry me through. And, you know, I, I know it could not have been completely stress-free to have three boys in a vehicle traveling cross country doing some of these things. In fact, there was one time when, when my parents was like, okay, you're the oldest, you're getting on a plane. I'm flying you down to your grandparents. And I flew down just to, to stay with my mom's parents uh, while they took my two youngest brothers and drove from California to um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um, so they only had to deal with the two of us. They got smart. And they were like, I'm, we're only going to deal with two of you. <laughs> and I, of course, I got to spend some time with my grandparents. And I remember them taking the time to, we went to Houston. We went to Astro World, which isn't open anymore, but you know, um, and, and we went and saw a couple of Houston Astros games in the Astrodome, which I don't think is open anymore, at least not for baseball. Um, you know, so I have these memories of sitting there and doing these things with, with my grandparents. And I never understood as a kid how important it was to take that time off. How important it was to stop focusing on the everyday grind and focus on the family and have that time where all of that goes away and it's just this. And I encourage you to go out and spend that time and to find, you know, you, you may not have the, the, the resources or the ability uh, to, to go and take time off and go on a big trip or anything else. But that doesn't discount the time because you can still make the effort and do stuff with your family. It can be as simple as getting together and going and having a picnic, you know, get out and go do something. Um, you can be getting together with your family and having movie nights. I remember some of those kind of things too. Of course, movie nights back when I was a kid usually meant we were going to the drive-in. <laughs> Boy, am I dating myself with that one <laughs> or, you know, going to the movies. Um, now you can do movie nights in the, in, in the home. Um, and there, these, these are things that, that, that they, that they will carry with them for a long time. And they're going to be stories, uh, from experiences that they've had during these, these outings that are going to, um, that are going to carry with them. Uh, and they'll be able to tell, you know, their kids about the crazy stuff that their brothers and sisters or 
their aunts, uncles, or mom and dad did, you know, telling the kids, you wouldn't believe what grandpa did one time. Let me tell you. And there goes the funny story. And these are ways that we get to live on long after we're, we're gone. Um, my friend Mindy says that she, she sews and paints. Uh, that's, you know, doing crafts and hobbies is a great way to uh, take time off and to focus in on your own mental well-being. <clears throat> the other thing that I, I love about people who are crafty like that, I have an Afghan that my aunt made for me. I want to say it was in 1985 or six that I got it for Christmas. And this was one that she had uh, crocheted. It wasn't knitting. It's the other one. Yeah, crocheted. I think that's what she did. Aunt Pat, if you're watching, was it, was it crochet knitting? I don't remember. But anyway, I still have it. It's still in good condition. I still use it. And and my kids are like, how long have you had that? I'm like, well, hell, let's see here. Mm -hmm. You know, do the math. And then they're like, ooh. And I was like, yeah. And your grand eight, Aunt Pat made that. Your Nana's sister made that by hand. And that just blew their mind. You know, so if you're somebody who's crafty, doing these things that you can give as gifts, it's something that carries forward, you know? So I, I encourage you to go out there and, and to find ways to spend time with the people that matter to you um, because you never know how long they're going to be here. Um, and, and in the end, it's the memories of those things that is going to live on, not how many days did you spend at work? How much money did you have? You know, how, how many cars did you own? None of that's going to matter. The time that you spent with the people that, that matter to you is what's going to carry on. It's what's going to matter in the long run. So until next time, folks, uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, please follow. That way you'll know when I'm doing these things. I'm going to get, I'm getting back into the swing of things now here, folks. Can't promise it's going to be all glorious right off the bat, but my wife's the one that's the guru on that kind of stuff. Me, sometimes I'm lucky just to have my head screwed on. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, so follow if you're catching this on Facebook. And if you're catching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And by all means, folks, reach out to me and uh, let me know if there's topics that you want want to cover. Um, you you can find these videos at solo.2 backslash KW Hamas. And that will lead you to the latest videos that have been done. And uh, you can also click to the YouTube and I'll take you to the YouTube channel and that kind of thing as well. So um, I know we're doing Foodie Friday this week. I'm not sure what we're doing for Foodie Friday this week yet. My wife was talking to me about something this morning. I hadn't had my coffee yet. I have no idea what it was. <laughs> Plus, I was trying to get the kids ready for school. <sighs> yeah, they were they they loved having the week off from school and getting to play out in the woods and doing all this other stuff. And they absolutely loved having their big sister here. So anyway, uh, until next time, folks, peace, love, and photography. And remember, everything can make a beautiful image, including you. Have a great afternoon.